Hello, many people don't know where this trigonometric identity comes from. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where this identity comes from. So to prove that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1, you begin by a circle. Okay, a circle on the x or y plane, like this. All right, so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, okay? Now, this is the center. This is the center O. Now, any distance from the center O to the circumference is R, okay? Now, if we drop a line from the circumference to the x-plane, you are going to form a 90 degrees here, all right? So now you can see that uh, we have formed a right angle triangle here. Now this point here is x comma y comma y because uh, this circle is on the x or y plane. Okay, this point is x comma y. Now the distance from here, from the center to here, where we've dropped this line from is x distance okay then even this one will be y distance then you have an angle here let's say an angle theta so for you to see nicely i'm going to draw this triangle here okay here all right okay we have this so we have this x then the y, this y, then the radius r, and the angle theta. All right. Now, by Pythagoras theorem, if you want to find r, it means you're supposed to add the square of x and the square of y. So meaning for you to find r, you are supposed to say uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared and this is uh, the first equation and this is pythagoras theorem okay now because you want to prove that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one now let's write uh, x and y in terms of cosine and uh, sine so to do that first of all let's write so katoa so katoa this is very helpful so ka toa so the first letters stand for this is sine cos and uh, tan tangent all right so we'll write x and y in terms of cosine and sine so let's begin cosine cosine it means here cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse okay um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so we're going to say because we are referring to this angle here we're going to say uh, cos theta is equal to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is the side that is attached to the angle apart from the, the hypotenuse okay so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse so in this case the adjacent is x so in case you want you may you may get confused to say well, how do you pick the adjacent the adjacent is the side that is attached to the angle other than the hypotenuse so the side that is attached to the angle is x so we have x over hypotenuse is the radius r all right so which means that uh, cos theta is equal to x over r x over r now let's solve for x okay so that we come and replace here so to solve for x we multiply both sides of this equation by by r so even here by r all right then we're going to have uh, R 
cos theta is equal to this and this error cancels and then and then you remain with x so which means that x is equal to r cos theta all right so this is equation number two uh, where we we have written x in terms of cosine theta all right let's also write uh, y in terms of uh, sine okay so because we're talking about sine so sine sine theta is equal to here sine is opposite over hypotenuse so we are going to have opposite over hypotenuse which is equal to the opposite we are talking about the side that is opposite to this angle which is y so we have y over um, hypotenuse is r meaning we are having sine theta is equal to y over r again let's solve for y so we're going to multiply by y both sides we're going to, to multiply by r sorry both sides then we're going to have r sine theta is equal to this r and this r cancels then we'll have y so this this implies that we're going to have y is equal to r sine theta now this is equation number three at this stage substitute substitute equation two and three into equation one all right but remember equation one is this one so equation one is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so now we are going to replace uh, x with r cos theta because we said we found that x is equal to r cos theta so we're going to have uh, r cos theta and everything squared because x is squared here plus again we found that y is r sine theta r sine theta and everything squared is equal to r squared so we are going to have r squared cos squared theta please don't make a mistake to square the angle it's the cos that is being squared plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to r squared now at this stage you can see that r r squared is common in in, in these terms so we're going to factor it out so we have r squared uh, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to r squared okay so now at this stage divide throughout by r squared okay so we're going to have this so divide by r squared even here divide by r squared r squared r squared cancels you have one then here r squared divided by r squared this also cancels and it's one okay so what is going to remain is this cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to this is one r squared divided by r squared is one as required as required thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing hit the like button and share